Hi guys, it's Natalia here and I'm here to do, today to do a product review for you. It's a new products that I have picked up recently in a haul video that I got from Lipstick Republic and I'll put a link below to that video in the description bar if you want to go and check out what else I got. But it is a new brand that is sort of coming out in Australia and the brand is Savoir Fair is the way I'm saying it. I'm probably pronouncing it incorrectly and I do have a subscriber out there who does like correcting my um, language. So I'll ask Chrissy if you are watching this, do you want to correct me on this one? But if not, if I'm saying it right, but just for now I'm going to say Savoir Fair. It's, the company is originated by a um, two ladies in Western Australia who are makeup artists and who wanted to branch out and do their own makeup range. I first heard about this brand in a Bella box um, possibly even a year ago and they gave us a full size lipstick in that um, Bella box which I have in here and I'll show you that one as well. But all the other things I've recently picked up from Lipstick Republic as they're now one of the online stockists for this brand. Now I'm just going to go through them through the products with you and sort of show you what I got and so you can sort of see um, yeah so you can just sort of see what I got now to start off with I did get a lip liner and this um, this is the packaging that it comes in this is just a nude lip liner it's in the number 05 the lip liners don't have names, but they've just got numbers. So that is the color of it just there. As you can see, it's just a really nude color. Um, for me, I actually got this one because when I do want to um, wear a nude lipstick, my lips are actually quite pigmented um, and I do like to sort of nude them out. And I find that instead of putting on a um, like a foundation or a concealer on my lips I do like putting a nude lip pencil on which is why I chose this color and it's actually a really really nice pencil it's really incredibly pigmented and really creamy and I find that when I do put it on my lips it does just also help the um, lipsticks cling on to that and last a lot longer as well so that is that one the one thing I find really interesting about this and I don't know if you have noticed in all of your lip pencils and eyeliner pencils out there they all about 95% of them say made in Germany. Well, in Germany is this really big pencil factory and they make all the lip liners and lip pencils and eyeliners for every single makeup company around the world. Send them off. They make them all in one factory. Um, stick on their different brands labels and then distribute around the world. That's basically how it happens. And the one thing I noticed about this one when I was looking at the box is that this one isn't actually made in Germany. This one is made in Italy. If we'll zoom in. There is it. Yeah, right here. Made in Italy. So I'm really interested to see how this one is goes compared to the other brands that I have got. Um, the next thing I got here are two lip glosses. And I've got two different colours here. One of them is Bon Bon and one of them is in the colour Fierce. And um, this is what they look like. So this is the colour Fierce and this is the one uh, colour Bon Bon. Um, the tube isn't your typical round one, it is sort of a slimline kind of flat um, lip gloss container which I think is really cool. It's much, I find them really easier to hold than the round ones, I don't know why, it just, it just is, I like it. And it reminds me, I've actually seen the Hourglass um, lip glosses have the same packaging so um, that's them. I'm just going to swatch these on the back of my hand for you so you can see. So this red one is actually a cinnamony smell, um, which is really quite nice. It's just, it's not too over the top, but it's really nice. And this one here, which is a bit more sheer, this is called Bon Bon, and this is more of a car coffee, oh, a caramelly toffee kind of smell, which is also really nice. I do like lip glosses that smell nice. You've got a really nice lip smelling lip gloss. I just find you can just smell it all day and it just... I enjoy it. <laughs> I just like really lovely tasting lip glosses and these ones certainly are. Um, you can These are actually $25 each so they are a bit more on the expensive side but I find the pigmentation to be really good. They're really nice and shiny as well and I've been wearing them so much over the last couple of weeks since I've had them and they're just they wear really nicely I think they're quite long lasting they're not overly sticky as well so if you are looking for a lip gloss that lasts a long time but aren't overly sticky then this is certainly ones to try. 
I just noticed there's a big storm sort of coming through and all the clouds have just stolen all my sun. So the light has changed, so I do apologize for that. The next thing I've got here to show you is their lipsticks. Now I do have three of them. One of them, as I said, I got from a Bella Box subscription about a year ago. And I'll show you that one first and the other two I purchased from Lipstick Republic. So these ones, this is the packaging that they come in. They come in a little sort of flippy open box like that and that is the product sitting in there like that this is I'll, I'll talk about the product and the price a bit later on so but the one I got from the Bella Box subscription is this one here and this is called Miss You and it is a sort of a night like a light baby pink color if you can sort of see it there, it is incredibly light and this one is slightly sheer but it's actually it's probably a bit too light for my skin tone so I probably wouldn't wear that one as much which is why I haven't but it is a really nice creamy consistency the next one I bought from Lipstick Republic is this one here in Deja Vu which is much more of a deep sort of natural colour put that one there and that's it there that is so nice it is so gorgeously creamy to put on it is just amazing and I find they're really moisturizing on my lips as well now the last one I've got here which is my absolute favorite this is in slightly different packaging as you can see the box is slightly bigger you take the lid off and it's just sort of sitting there like that take it out and this is in the color showgirl and this is gorgeous I love this one I wore this one recently put a photo on Instagram and it looked amazing so I'm just going to swap to that one just here on the bottom so they're the products there that I've got um, so packaging wise as you can sort of see these are incredibly heavy weighted the packaging is just made out of a really sort of thick metal um, that's the tube there and it's just sort of this really mirrored sort of metal finish look at the detail there in the lid and on the side it's just they've done such an amazing job with the packaging now I know packaging isn't everything it meant it's really <laughs> nothing in comparison but the price of these is actually $48 a lipstick now that is probably slightly high for a lip well not probably it is slightly high for a lipstick and when I'm spending $48 on a lipstick I expect it to be right up there with the elite prestige luxury brands like a Chanel and a YSL so when I got these I was actually first really really skeptical because of the price I'm thinking they are fairly expensive for a lipstick um, in Australia so I really wasn't too sure but the packaging and I, I don't know if you know if you've really grabbed like a YSL lipstick the packaging is just really thick and heavy and you, the gold on it is just really nice and it just looks and feels like you are pulling out and wearing a really nice luxury product especially for the price range and you know what this they have done such a good job with this packaging I find that this is right up there with it not only in the packaging to make it look like a luxury product but the pigmentation and the quality of their lipsticks is phenomenal I'm not I'm not joking it is absolutely amazing I wore this showgirl lipstick I it doesn't cling to dry flaky lips um, I mean anytime you're wearing a bold color you really should exfoliate your lips but I think this lasted on me about six hours without any touch-ups and that did include eating um, it was just the most amazing color on it is so vibrant the pigmentation is amazing as you can see it is moisturizing long-lasting it is everything that I actually want in a lipstick I'm so impressed with that and like I said even the lip glosses they're $25 each but they do last a long time and the color the pigmentation is really nice it's not too sticky it's really it's nice and shiny and yeah I I'm so pleasantly surprised about this brand and the fact that it is an Australian company also makes me want to support them even more and yeah I just like how the lipstick sort of sits in its own little box like this and it's just even that's the, a lot of detail has gone into that if you open it up and look in there it's even got their own little label in the inside of the lipstick packet I'm I'm just blown away by it. I think they're fantastic if you're looking for maybe a gift for someone in like if you really want to spoil someone and give them a gift for like a high-end lipstick I'd actually really recommend this I think they're really good $48 for a lipstick yeah it's 
it is a bit much. I would like to see the price come down. I would definitely say the product is certainly worth it, and it just it is it feels and looks like a luxury product. So I think they've done a fantastic job with that. I'll put a link to Lipstick Republic's website down below, and I'll also put in a discount code there, um, which will entitle you to 10% off your purchases from there. If you want to buy any of these products or anything else from their website, you can use that then. Um, so I'll put that in the description bar below, and I'll also put a link to the Savoir Faire uh, website as well, so you can go and check out all the um, their other. I think they've got like concealers and things like that. I remember seeing a concealer um, tester in another beauty box that I got. So um, yeah, well worth checking out. And like I said, forty-eight dollars is slightly expensive, but I'm happy. F I'm I am I personally am happy with the product, and um, I would certainly go and purchase other products. And I might do that in the coming new year. I hope you guys found that interesting. I'm actually going to put a blog post below with this video and just do proper up close. Um, photos of the different products and the swatches because I know that the camera sometimes can distort the colour on the back of my hand when I am doing swatches so just so you can see what the products look like individually up close I will put a um, photos and stuff in the blog and I'll put the blog post below and um, I'll put a link to my Instagram account below as well and you can go and check out the photo of me wearing this showgirl lipstick and I was just I was seriously love it it's one of my favourite lipsticks at the moment so that is it for this video I hope you guys found that interesting if you have any comments or questions about the brand let me know in the comment bar below and I'll certainly get back to you and I will speak to you soon. Bye!